in my profession. I worked for the federal government for 12 years, and uh, it is my line of work. We are the ones that should be going out there calling people out. What is this? I mean, you can't work in my field, which is industrial hygiene. I'm an industrial hygienist and an environmental specialist. So how can you overlook this? You, you cannot deny the evidence. Just do your own testing. It's the history of weather weaponry. I mean, you can take away people's monetary system. You can take away people's rights. But you take their food and you disable their ecosystem. That's the number one way to handicap people. And they've done it since the 40s. It's not new. Also seeing how um, it started started out to be a, a government program and then noticing that it is an, a, a way for private corporations to profit off this, whether it's controlling uh, agriculture, uh, you know, profiting. There's certain events, you know, you lose money on if, if it rains or so knowing that you can kind of predict and control the weather. There's money there. I've also, you know, heard that it could be tied to Agenda 21. But for me, it's not about why. It's just stopping it. It sprayed people. Um, I'm sure you've heard the St. Louis story. They did biological testing. So if the government is capable of doing that, why is it so hard for people to believe? And I don't know if you've heard about David Keith, but he's actually a geoengineer, Canadian. Uh, he works at Harvard. He just wrote a new book on climate engineering. And inadvertently, he's brought more awareness to this because I feel they're getting ready to admit it. And they're trying to sell it to us, you know. It's kind of like they sell vaccines to us, they sell fluoride to us. You know, fluoride is a, is a mining waste product. Well, how can we make that good, you know, put it in your water? So I think that they're trying to now kind of admit it and act like they're going to start doing it, and they've already been doing it. I began using the Internet, like probably many of you have, and I began looking for what the materials were that were being used and why. Now, there's an awful lot of technical material behind what you're seeing. For one thing, these particles, these nanoparticles that are being put into the air, not only help to shield the ground from the sun and block, and reflect the sunlight, which can change the temperature of the air mass below that, make it cooler, make it come together and compress. But it can also be bombarded with microwave radiation from the ground. And if you match the frequency of these particles, in just the right way, these particles will begin to heat up in the air, and that heat is transferred to the surrounding air mass. Now, it only has to be a mild amount of heat. It could be 135 degrees. But if you have countless trillions of these particles suspended in the air that are all being painted with this signal, they will all heat up at the same time, the and they will carry that air mass and all the